One night, all the engines arrived at Tidmouth Shed. After a long day's work, Thomas was the last one who arrived. Then, he heard a familiar whistle. Oh, that must be Edward. It was Edward, and he was backing up with a jolly smile on his face. Hello, Edward. How was your day? And what's with that face, anyway? Oh, it was wonderful, Thomas, because I've met a wonderful child today. But, Edward, we always see wonderful and happy children everywhere. Oh no, Thomas. This isn't just a normal and regular child. This is more... adventurous. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. You want to know how I met her? Sure. Eh, fair enough, then. And this was the story how Edward met her. I was heading back in the yard after my passenger run on my branch line and my driver and fireman had offered to have lunch. So, I went to sleep. When I woke up, I saw a little blue-haired girl with her sketchbook, and her name was Hilda. But all of a sudden, my crew came back, and I told Hilda to hide inside my cab, though it didn't really work. And so, Hilda learned her lesson to not run on shunting yards, or even put an engine's brakes off. And that is how I met her for the first time. Wow, Edward. That was a really interesting adventure you had. Indeed it was. Do I also forgot to mention that she has a deer fox pet? What is even a deer fox anyway? Oh, it's just a mix of a white fox and a deer. Nothing much to explain. Huh, I see. But little did they know, the other engines were hearing the conversation. Hmm, <laughs> yeah right, as if we're going to believe it. Edward, we really like your stories most of the time, but this one kind of sounds a bit, you know, overdramatic. And who on earth does even a parent of a child go and explore the wild out for? Surely she'll get it in front of Gritchen like a troll or something like that. Wait, did Henry just say... Trolls? Oh no, Percy. They're actually troll rocks. Not actual trolls in general. Oh, I see. <laughs> troll rocks? <sighs> oh dear. Come on, everyone. You know that Edward has a point. Oh, really? And what makes you think about that? Because we did just see her too, Gordon. And in fact, what Edward just told Thomas was correct. Not to mention about the time Dom ate my sandwich for the second time being. Bob, just shut up, okay? As I was saying, yes, we really did just see her. And if you think we're lying, well then we don't care. Now, if you'll excuse us, we'd better get some sleep. Good night, Edward. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, driver. Good night, fireman. <sighs> you were saying, Gordon? You know what? I better get some sleep. Good night. Yeah, me too. Good night. Me free. Good night. Ah, so am I. Good night, everyone. Come on, Thomas. Let's get some rest, too. But I was going to... <sighs> All right, Edward. Edward! Edward! <sighs> oh, what, is it? what is it, Thomas? I wanted to ask you something. Alright then, what is it? 
Do you think that Hilda would come back to Sodor someday? Of course she will, Thomas. But only time will tell. Hmm. Only time will tell. Thomas! Come on, Thomas, it's time to wake up. Warden will be waiting for his coaches. Hmm. Can't Percy or Toby do it? Both of them went to help Mavis on Farquhar Quarry. Then what about Doc and Oliver? They're all so busy, Thomas. <sighs> Fine, then. I guess I'll have to do it myself. So Thomas went off to fetch Gordon's coaches. The more and more Thomas kept on shunting the coaches, the more and more he felt tired. Then, he went off again to collect Annie and Clarabelle. As Thomas was reversing with Annie and Clarabelle to the platform, he heard a small chatter behind him. To run off into that railway yard again, understand? I'm not mad at you, just make sure you're being safe, that's all. Don't worry, Mum. Edward's proof told me that I wouldn't do that anymore. Um, excuse me, are you Hilda? Hilda paused for a moment and questioned how this engine knew her name. Um, yes, that's me. How do you know my daughter's name? Oh, well, my friend Edward has told me all about you. Really? Yes, and actually, I was really surprised that a child like your age can do big things. Kind of like what I usually say. Little engines can do big things. You look kind of familiar. Wait, are you... Thomas. Thomas the tank engine. The mother and daughter were surprised. Wait, I remembered you. Edward told me about you as well. What did he say? He told me about the times he found an abundant town, stopped a pirate ship with a treasure, went to a railway show, and helped an other engine from an accident when you first arrived. I'm really happy that I got to be the number one on this railway. Thomas smiled. He likes when people came to see the railway when they talk about their stories from the engines. I remember you as well. I remember reading those books when I was a child. I still have some of them hidden away. Speaking of Edward, here he comes right now. I suppose you're all having a good chat, aren't you? Yes, we were. We were just talking about our adventures, including yours. It's so nice to see you again, Edward. I'm glad to see you again, Hilda. So you're Edward. You look similar to another steam locomotive that Trollberg has. Well, it's nice to know that there are more engines like me still around. Also, nice to meet you, Joanna, if I'm not mistaken. It's nice to meet you too, Edward. And I heard about your meet-up with Hilda after your... Incident. <laughs> Don't worry, ma'am. She's learned her lesson after all. Well, that's good to hear. What, what the? Who, who said, said that? that? Oh, Hilda, I think you pet talk. Oh, right. I forgot to introduce you, Trick and Alpha. Alpha? And that's a deer fox? I thought it'd be a little bit bigger. Trick will get bigger when he gets older. Who's this Alpha you're talking about? Well, I'll explain. Helda began explaining about Alpha to the engines. She told about the time they met the hidden people and how Alpha was almost replaced by another elf. And the only way to see him or the hidden people is to sign a contract. Well then, where's he? Thomas looked a little closer on the top of Twigshead. 
and then... Cooey! <laughs> Bust my buffers. You really are small. Mm, I'm on the tall side for an elf, actually. So, um, my name is Alpha. It's nice to see you, Alpha. <laughs> it's nice to be seen. Your voice sounds familiar. Yes. Yes. You sound unlike Philip. Well, I'm definitely writing this down in my report.